In this tutorial we'll be looking at how to add a more advanced gun. Before we looked at shooting left and right, now we're looking at using a mouse to control the angle of what the gun shoots at. So first thing we need to do is we need to create a gun. So just insert a new object, scroll down, click on sprite and give it a name. Now I'm going to create a very very quick gun. So I'm just going to quickly put some lines down like so and that will do. Now it's really important that when you're using construct, that when you're creating objects that fire in a certain direction, they always need to face right. It's a weird thing with construct, but it will solve a lot of the issues. So make sure your gun is shooting towards the right. That'll fix a lot of issues. Now we've got our gun. We can scale it down to size and we can give it to our character. Now we need to add a behavior to our gun. So we're gonna go edit behaviors and we're looking for one called pin. Now what pin does, it allows it to stick to the object. So as our object moves, the gun moves with it. So the gun doesn't get left behind. So we can hit X and then go to our event sheet. And then we're gonna say system. And we're looking for the option that says at the start of layout, because that's when we want the gun to be attached. So this won't be about dropping and picking up other weapons. It's gonna be a really simple tutorial on the gun always being part of the player. So in the start of layout, gun, dot pins object player so we can play that now and the guns following our player so now we need to get it to follow the mouse so first thing we need to do is right click insert a new object and look for the option mouse this means we've now got option two extra functions all based around the mouse so that's our first step so now what we can do is go back to our event sheet and then we can say system every tick. And this is going to be about moving the gun to where the player is looking with the mouse. And we want this to happen constantly throughout the game. So every tick, 30 to 60 frames per second, depends on what your project's set to. So add action. And we're going to say gun set angle towards position. And we're going to go for mouse dot x. And make sure you're using X and Y, not absolute X and absolute Y. And mouse dot Y. And click done. Now you'll see that our gun follows our mouse. But we've got some issues now. Because it's moving away from our object. So at this stage, it's quite far away from our object. That's because our pivot point is here. Where my mouse is now. So we want to move the pivot point. So let's do that. We're just going to go into our gun. Right click, edit animations. I'm going to scroll down till we get to this object here, which is our image point. We we'll change our pivot point just the handle, just about there, and that's where our gun's going to pivot down. So now, if we hit X and we go back to the layout first, you'll see that it's moved our gun away from the player, so we can move that back to our player and hit play. And now the gun is much closer to our player. It looks a little bit less silly. Obviously, it's still a bit silly when we're looking the wrong way. It fixes a lot of the issues that we had before. So now we need to get it to actually shoot, which is something that I've done in a previous tutorial, but I'll quickly go through it again. So we're going to right click, insert new object, and we're going to go to sprite. And we need to create a bullet. So I'm going to create a very, very simple bullet for our gun. Now, again, when you're creating objects that fire in a certain direction, always make sure they are going towards the right. So I'm going to make sure the edge of my bullet is going towards the right like that. So my bullet's facing that way. Solves a lot of issues. I'm going to crop that now and hit X. And then we're going to have our bullet on screen. But we're just going to put it down to the right scale. Next thing we need to do is go to our gun. Edit animations. And we're going to go back to our image points. And this time we're going to create a brand new image point. So image point one, we can even rename it. And we can say um, barrel. We're going to point this to the barrel of the gun where we want the bullet to spawn. So I'm going to place it about there. Finally, we're going to go back to our event sheets. And we're going to say on mouse click. Left click is clicked. Then we can have our gun spawn another object. And that object is going to be our bullet, which we're going to set to image point one. Image point one being the barrel of our gun. 
and hit done. And one thing I have missed out, which is really important, is just going to right click on our bullet, add a new behavior. We're going to give it the bullet behavior. Now the bullet behavior means it acts like a bullet. It goes in a straight direction and we can change the speed of that. So we can add the bullet and you'll see that we've got all these variables to change the speed, the gravity, the bounce off solids, the angle, etc, etc. But now we can hit play and you'll see we've got our gun that's facing where my mouse is and the bullets will also shoot in those same directions again, even if they do look a bit silly shooting backwards. But this is how you can set up a very simple gun inside your construct game.